Build your own home lab or tinker spot with these five simple recommendations. Number one, the breadboard. One of the most versatile tools for an electrical or computer engineer, absolutely necessary for prototyping and tinkering. A little bit hard to see hiding back there, but the T12 soldering iron, make sure you pick up a little bit of flux, a tip cleaner, and some tip tinner to make sure that you always have good contact. If you want to upgrade to something fancy, you can get one of the hackos back there, but that little T12 will do everything you need. Third on our list is an absolute must, and that is your general purpose multimeter. Number four on our list is our assortment of snippers, crimpers, pliers, and strippers. Of course, we've got some needle nose, a flush cut, and most importantly, our small gauge wire strippers. These come in handy, but don't forget our large gauge too, just for those general purpose wires. And finally, coming in at number five is our DPS3010U desktop power supply, or bench power supply, if you will. Definitely need one of these. Powering electronics, being able to control it reliably, absolutely a necessity. Just buy one. And lastly, let's cover some honorable mentions. You might have seen my pan vise here sitting on the bench with a nice little uh, silicone mat underneath it. If you can afford it, definitely invest in one of these things. They come with uh, multiple bases that you can use. Here's a circuit board holder. There's the general purpose on there. They've got a whole number of uh, a range of attachments with these pan of ice. Absolutely recommend. Our final honorable mention is my two channel oscilloscope. You can see tucked back in there on the shelf. Definitely not something that you need starting off, but it will absolutely help you out if you're trying to trace or scan signals that might be uh, on a time based scale instead of just something basic and simple like voltage and current with a multimeter. Now, I know some of you in the back of your head are probably thinking, wow, that is a lot of stuff. There's no way I can afford any of this. Well, I'll let you in on a little bit of secret. I didn't buy this all at once. This took me years and years and years to accumulate all of this stuff. And to be honest, the only thing you need to get started is just a simple breadboard, a couple of wires, a multimeter, and... If you can afford it, get a little bit of a solder station going. Other than that, build as you go.